This junior rugby team coaching template is designed to one, promote fundamental skill development, two, make it easy for junior team coaches to deliver a successful rugby practice, and three, give junior players an enjoyable rugby experience. Kia ora, I'm John Leslie. We all want our junior rugby team coaching sessions to be effective and enjoyable, but we all know sometimes they aren't. Here are my five key tips for success. One, teach correct technique. Demonstrate each skill physically. Either do it yourself or use your most competent player to show them how it's done. Two, maximize skill attempts. The more your players practice the skills properly, the better they will become. Coaching assistance is essential. Don't try and do it all by yourself. It's just too hard. Encourage parents and others to lend a hand and be your coaching assistant. Four, minimize coach lectures and maximize action feedback. Keep group talk short and to the point or the kids' attention will wander. Instead, give immediate skill feedback when the players are in action. Five, safety first. And remember, always coach positive. Encouraging words and good body language are powerful ways of creating great team spirit. Evasive grid running. Run from corner to corner as fast as you can, avoiding collisions and practicing sidestepping and swerving. To minimize waiting time, just add more balls. Fitness drill, down and ups. Start with your chest on the ground, on your coach's go command, up as quick as you can, sprint five meters, down, up, sprint five meters back. 10 times five meter shuttles is one set. Use this drill as a transition between skill drills. Power running. Step up to the line with a strong three-point ball grip. Power into the gauntlet and out the other side, maintaining a good, safe body position. Perfect ball presentation. Carry the ball securely in your outside arm and target the edge of the pad with your inside shoulder. Drive forward and when your momentum slows, fall as if you're scoring a try. Then explode back to present the ball in two firm hands. Ruck clean out. First man presents the ball perfectly. Second man approaches ruck. At contact, get your shoulder on and place your head to the side. Wrap arms, drive forward low to high like a plane taking off over and past your teammate. And coach, don't be a brick wall. Pick and go. Build on the ruck clean out, adding a third man as your pick and go player. On the pick, snap the ball up close and sprint forward. Pick and pass. Now add a fourth player. He runs onto the ball, passed to him by the third man at the ruck clean out. Passing waves. 
Run forward and pass the ball along the chain. Have a go at both outside and middle positions and reverse ball direction to practice both left and right hand passing. Draw, pass, back up. The first ball carrier runs straight at the defender. Just before contact, pass to your teammate who is running onto the ball straight at the second defender. Then you double around to receive the pass from him. Tackle setup. Feet for soft agile feet. Set for strong, safe body position. And tackle for a power step forward. Same shoulder, same leg, and thrust your arms forward to perform the tackle. Safe, strong tackling progression. Pair up on your knees for a side on tackle. Set, then perform the tackle with a knee step landing close to the ball carrier for power. Keep your head safe, cheek on cheek, shoulder on, wrap arms, and drive forward. Incoming tackle repetitions. Set up on your knees, five or 10 meters from your teammates. Tackle them one by one as they run close by you. Snap your arms tight and get up quickly after each tackle. Power tackling versus stationary target. Set, then on the coach's tackle call, your first move is a power step forward. Put the same shoulder into the contact as your leading leg. Wrap your arms tight and drive forward with good, strong body position. Safe, strong tackling versus a moving target. Run quickly toward the pad holder. When close, use short, agile steps then power step to your target. Dip your body, position your head safely, and make contact with your shoulder. Wrap your arms tight and drive forward. Bull runner versus tackler, one-on-one. -on -one. The bull runner should practice his evasive running skills. The defender should practice safe, strong tackle technique. And just like for all of these drills, safety first and mouth guards in. To all you grassroots rugby people, and you know who you are, it's a big thank you for all your efforts because without you there wouldn't be grassroots rugby. That's all for now, thanks for following Leslie Rugby's video blog and see you next time.